In this session, I am going to show you how to set up a sample web application in Eclipse. But there is a twist. Whenever we are going to set up a sample web application, we generally create a dynamic web project and from there we set up. But starting from Eclipse version 2021-03, that is the release in the year 2021 and in the month of March, Eclipse has made some changes. So while creating the dynamic and static websites, the suggested content paths and the Java source folder have been changed. So this is as per the Eclipse website description. Now what does that mean that I'll explain here. Earlier when we used to create the dynamic web project we have mainly two directories one is src and another is web content. src where we put the Java code and web content is the one where our JSP, HTML files etc reside. Now we used to put web content. I mean, we did not need to put it explicitly. Eclipse used to generate. Now, from this version 2021-03 onwards, it is changed to web app. But it's not very strict. Like, if Eclipse is putting web app, it has to be web app. You can customize the name and accordingly Eclipse would work. So, I'll demonstrate this scenario with a version which is prior to 2021-03, which is Eclipse Photon. And also, another version which is little bit later on that is 2022-06. Now first let me download a sample web project here in github.com slash j2expert 2025 sample web application. It's my project where it is following the old structure like source and web content. Let me download the code and extract it. Here the code is downloaded. Right click extract here. Now what I am going to do, I am going to copy the name of this particular project which is sample web application and I am going to create the dynamic web project. First in Photon, let me go to Photon. If I show you help about Eclipse ID, you can see the version is Photon release 4.8.0. This is the version. So it's a little bit older Eclipse. Go to File, New, Dynamic Web Project. Enter the name, select the dynamic web module version 2.5 because my project has version 2.5. That is why click on next. It's source folders on build path. Let it be as it is. Click next. Now, this is the context route. Sample web application and by default the content directory you can see web content. You can customize it, but I'll keep it as it is. Click finish. Now, if I go to the relatively new version, which is this one. If I go to help about Eclipse, you can see the version 2022-06. If I close it, file, new, dynamic web project. Let me paste the project name. Change the dynamic web module version 2.5. Next. It is showing the source folders. Fine. Go next. Now here, now here we have the difference content directories src main slash web app. Now what we can do we can go ahead with this default version then inside this web app I have to paste all my web related content. Another thing what I can do I can customize this. I can just give web content like it was earlier. So I am taking the first version because my project code structure is like that only. So let me change this. Click finish. Done. Now. I need to paste the project code. Let me first go to Photon, expand this, go to the project directory where I downloaded everything. So this is source and this is web content. What I can do, I can just do Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go to Photon, here, right click, paste, select overwrite all. Okay, what is the detail? Loading descriptor for sample web application. Let me see. If there is any problem as such, let me check the web.xml. Click on source. So it has taken all the changes. I don't understand what was the problem. Anyways, we will try to run this project and see what happens. Going back to Eclipse 202206. So this is the structure. Let me change this view to navigator. Show view. Navigator. Now in Photon, if I go back, I have actually added the navigator view earlier. So that is why this view was coming. And in the Eclipse 202206, the view was a bit different. I prefer this navigator view because I think it's a bit simpler. 
again same way i need to copy paste the code i think it's already copied but anyways control c i'm going back here selecting the project right click paste overwrite all i did not see any error in the eclipse 2206 but somehow there was an error in eclipse photon i don't know what it exactly was anyways now gradually we will try to run the project first in photon and then here so let me go back to photon and one important thing i want to show you here is i have already tomcat available in my system so earlier videos i have run in tomcat 7 here i am going to run this project in tomcat 9 now where is tomcat available i have placed this extracted version of tomcat here apache tomcat 9.0.67 let's go back to photon i have this server views over here i can add the server from here or what we can do in case this view is not available you can go to show view and here you should either be getting this servers or you can go to other and type server so in that way this view should appear let me click on cancel and what it says at this point of time no servers are available click this link to create a new server click over here under apache you can see the tomcat this is tomcat version 9 so i am selecting this click next i have to select the tomcat so browse all softwares i have placed it here so i am just going to the apache tomcat directory select folder click on finish right click run as run on server now here we have this tomcat 9 selected we, which we just added click on finish allow access if you give any pop-ups like this click on allow access I don't know somehow this is hanged so anyways I'm trying to click allow access now this is the default context path I need to add one thing to it let me copy this and open this in browser I'm going back to the edge so here control V and then add index.html press enter so now if you see the sample web application is loaded which we did earlier now I am going to try the newer version of Eclipse where we edited the web app name and change it to web content so before that I need to stop the tomcat here otherwise there could be probable port conflict so I am selecting this right click stop or we can stop from here also let me click so tomcat is now stopped let me see the console message yes it is done going back to eclipse 2206 same pattern you can go to servers click on this particular link under apache you should be able to view tomcat and jeronimo somehow it's showing tomcat only anyways that would serve my purpose select tomcat 9 next it's telling us to browse so browsing here this is my tomcat directory so i'm selecting this select folder finish now the next thing that i'm going to do is right click run as run on server so i need to select the existing server this is the one click finish click allow again in your case this sort of message comes so i have clicked multiple times finally it got accepted so what we can do over here i see another page is opened in the recent version of eclipse i think they have added it that the browser the internet browser should not open instead of that the actual age or chrome should be opening maybe i have not observed this but anyways let me try the old url the new application right in eclipse 2206 is running so ideally if i hit this particular url that is index.html it should work enter like the version that we ran in eclipse photon in the recent version of eclipse also it is running but while creating the project while creating the web content or web app we need to be a bit careful and if we do things correctly eclipse will handle it that is all